Mr. Cleon here from Cleon Maths. If you're new here, this channel is all about maths for National 5 Higher, Advanced Higher, and so forth. So really in the Scottish system, but if you're from England, you will find a lot of use here. The aim for this video is to go through the whole of fractions in the National 5 Maths. So that'll be adding, subtracting fractions, multiplying, dividing fractions, mixed numbers, and bid maths. And I will look at every single past paper question. Let's get started. SQA National 5 Maths 2014 Paper 1 Question 1 said, evaluate 5 over 12 times 2 and 2 ninths. So I've got to multiply fractions, but I've got a mixed number. So when you try to times with a mixed number, the easiest way to do that is to change the mixed number to a improper fraction. So I'm going to keep the 5 twelfths where it is, but I'm going to times by, well, it's 2 ninths. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20, so it's 20 over 9. And now I can do the times. I can times the top and times the bottom, or if you prefer, you can simplify in advance. I'm just going to go ahead and just times and then simplify at the end. So I do 5 times 20, which is 100, over 9 times 12. Now, if you don't know what 9 times 12 is, at the side, 12 times 9. 9 times 2 is 18, carry 1. 9 ones are 9, plus 1 is 10, so you get 108. So far, so good, but you have to simplify all answers. I can see they're both even, so I can divide by two, or you can find a bigger number if you can. I'm just going to divide by two. So if I imagine splitting that up, I say divide by two and divide by two. That gives me 50 and 54. I can keep doing that, so I can divide by two and divide by two, because they're still both even. That gives me 25 and 27. And now you need to check, is there any numbers that go into 25 and 27? Well, the only numbers that go into 25 are 1, 25 and 5. And 5 doesn't go into 27, so I'm done there. In 15, paper 1, question 1 again, so non-calculator. 6 and a fifth minus 2 and a third. So the first thing I'll do is I'll deal with the whole number parts. So I do 6, take away 2, and I get 4. Now I can do a fifth. Minus a third, common denominator is 15. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5. 3 fifths teams minus 5 fifteenths, don't make a mistake, it's not 2, it's minus 2 fifteenths. So when I get a negative answer, then my final answer, I started with 4, so I drop down to 3. Imagine again, I've got 15 fifteenths, 15 pieces of pizza. I take away two, so I've got 13 left over. So I've got 13 fifteenths left. One quick and easy way to think of that is, if you look at the denominator, 15, 15 take away, the numerator two is 13, so it's 13 fifteenths. Okay, 2016, paper one, question two. Three quarters, brackets, a third plus two sevenths. So bid mass gets involved here. I do the bits inside the brackets first, then I times the bit outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is a third plus two sevenths. Common denominator is 21, three times seven. One times seven is seven, plus two times three is six. Seven plus six is 13, so we get 13 out of 21. Oh, we've got three quarters times the answer we just got, 13 out of 21. Now at this stage, you can simplify after you do the times or before. You can always simplify uh, with a times, but you can't do it with a, an add for fractions. So here we go, we can simplify by dividing by three to get one, divide by three to get seven. Now the sum becomes a lot easier. So that means we've got one times 13, and we've got four sevens is 28. 13 out of 28. Just double check that there's any more simplification I can do. I know there isn't, but there's no numbers that go into 13 and 28, so I'm done. 17, paper one, question three says, evaluate one and five sixths divided by three quarters and give your answer in its simplest form. So we change the mixed numbers into fractions first. So one and five sixths, one times six is six, plus five is 11. So that becomes 11 over six divided by three quarters. So that becomes 11 over six. Dividing by a fraction is the same as times and by its reciprocal. So flip the second one upside down, four thirds. We can now simplify in advance or at the end. 
So I can divide this one by two to get two, this one by two to get three, and then our final answer becomes 11 times two is 22, three times three is nine. Just double check, there's no more simplification. There is not. At this stage, I can leave my answer like that. I do not have to change it back to a mixed number, so that's fine. If I did change it back to a mixed number, I would get two and four knives. Quite a common question to turn up, evaluate two and a third plus four fifths. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do my third plus my four fifths. Three times five is 15. So that's my common denominator. One times five is five for the first fraction. Four times three is 12. Putting it together, I get 12 plus five is 17 over 15. Changing it back to a mixed number, I get one and two fifteenths. Because 15 goes into 17 one time with two remainder. So the answer to the question, I've got two remainder. So I've got two plus one and two fifteenths, which means I've got three and two fifteenths. So again, remember, the only way you could have done this question is to change the two and a third into an improper fraction and then added and simplified. Next we Nationify Maths 2019, paper one, question two, multiplying fractions, three eighths times one and five sevenths. So we've got three eighths <coughs> times one and five sevenths, one times seven is seven plus five is 12. So that's 12 over seven. Now at this point, you could either simplify now or simplify when you're finished. I'm just gonna simplify when I'm finished. So three times 12 is 36, and eight times seven is 56. So now we need to find a way to simplify that. Let's try and divide by four. Oh, well, you could just divide by two then two again. So four nines is 36, and four into 56 goes 14 times, so we get nine fourteenths, and we're done there. Okay, fractions, SQE, National 5 Maths 2021, paper one, question two. Evaluate five and a half minus one and two sevenths. There's two ways to do this, actually. With mixed numbers, if it's add and subtract, you can take away the whole number parts and then the fraction parts, or you might find it easier just to convert the multi and proper fractions and do the same thing for add, subtract, times and divide. And that's what I'm going to do, stick with the easiest way for me, so change to improper fractions. So I do five times two is 10, plus one's 11, so I get 11 over two, minus, and then it's one times seven is seven, plus two is nine, nine over seven. So I've now got two improper fractions to take away from each other, so I need to find a common denominator. The easiest way to do that is times them together. The denominator is two times seven is 14. So that gives me 14. So now this first fraction has been times by seven, so I can times this one by seven. 11 times seven is 77, minus, and I can times the second fraction by two. Nine times two is 18. So it's a bit like a cross, 77 minus 18. Now, if you can do that sum in your head, 77 minus 18, again, do a sum at the side, but I'll just go down to 67, then 57. So it's going to be 59 over 14. Now, at this point, you can just convert it back to a mixed number or simplify the fraction. So I'm just going to count in 14s, 14, 28, 38, 39, 41, 42, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So that is one, two, three, four. And I've clearly got 56, three left over, three fourteenths. Just check that that three fourteenths is simplified, and it is, so I'm done there. 2022, just last year, paper one, question one, evaluate two fifths times one fifth plus three quarters. So again, bid mass brackets first. One fifth plus three quarters. Common denominator is 20, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 times 5 is 15, 19 out of 20. So we've still got this 2 thirds to times by, so step 2, 2 thirds times 19 over 20. 2 times 19 is 38, 3 times 20 is 60. And they are both even, so I can divide by 2 to simplify. A half of 38 is 19, and a half of 60 is 30. 
19 is a prime number, it doesn't go into 30, so that's me simplify for my final mark. It's Green National 5 Maths, 2023 paper, one question, one had, evaluate 2 and a 6th divided by 8 ninths. So I'm dividing fractions, so I've got mixed numbers, change 2 in proper fractions. So 2 and 1 sixth, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So I get 13 over 6, divided by 8 over 9. Divide by a fraction is the same as times and by its reciprocal. To be very clear with that, that means you do 13 over 6, divide becomes times, and the second fraction you can flip upside down essentially, so it becomes 9 over 8. Again, now once you get to a times, you can either simplify in advance by the 9 and the 6, or you can just direct with times and then simplify later. I'll just direct with times and simplify later. So I need to do 9 times 13. 9 times are 90, 9 threes is 27. 90 plus 20 is 110, 117. So you get 117 for the top, 6 eighths is 48. Now at this point, I always find when the numbers are bigger and it's an improper fraction, it's easier just to switch it back to a mixed number than simplify. So I'm going to just count in 48. There's 48, there's 96, and then it's going to be too big. So that gives me 2. And then I want to know what's left over, so 117 take away 96, that's 06, 16, 17, 21, 21 over 48. And now I need this check, is 21 over 48 something I can simplify? Well, 21, 3 goes into, and 48, 3 goes into, so I can divide by 3 on the top and bottom. I'll just take a wee note of that next to the fraction so you can see that. So that gives me 2, 3 sevens is 21. And 3 into 48, well, 3 into 4 goes 1, with 1 left over. 3 sixes is 18. I get 7 over 16. Well, 7 is a prime number, it doesn't go into 16. So there's my final answer 2 and 7 sixteenths. This has been Claire Maths today. We've went through the whole fractions in the National 5 Maths. We've done every single past paper question that exists way back to 2014 at least. Hopefully, you found that useful and helpful. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. We'll be planning on doing these videos at least weekly for National 5 throughout the year. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.